Hi, I thought I would give you a little update. So for the last few weeks I've been dealing with bursitis. Bursitis is the inflammation of the bursa. The bursa is a little sac that prevents the friction between the bones and the tendon. It's like a little cushion. And when that gets inflamed, it is incredibly painful. In my case, it affected my right shoulder, uh, which kind of sucks because I'm right-handed and my job requires me to be physical. I am a massage therapist and a postwoman. So I've been pretty much stuck for the last three weeks now. Um, I've been diagnosed over the phone by the GP as I cannot go to the GP as it's not an emergency and I've been prescribed naproxen. Naproxen is an NSAID, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. And when I looked into the side effect, it can create ulcers and disrupt the guts. So I wasn't too keen on uh, dealing with a bursitis and an ulcer at the same time, so I decided not to take it. But I'm living with my partner, who is a bit more into drugs than I am, and decided to go to the pharmacy, take it, and bring it home. And I was grateful. The pain was so horrendous that I ended up having to take them, uh, mostly as a painkiller. As a painkiller. Uh, during the night, I couldn't sleep. It is that painful that, yes, I had to turn to the drugs, I admit. Uh, my way uh, has been always to deal with the natural aspect of the health as much as I can. So I wasn't too keen on taking the naproxen, but I had to surrender and realize that, yes, it was useful in that case. But at the same time, what I did, I looked into my health. The first thing I did for the first week was to cut all inflammatory food. In my case, it is sugar, dairy, and gluten. I've took all that of my diet and I alternated with fasting as well. So my body would concentrate more on healing what was damaged here instead of dealing with anything in the body because digestion does take energy. So I was dealing with a bit of both. Um, what I also did, because I am an aromatherapist and I have all the oils at home, I created a cream that was targeting the inflammation. So I applied a few days, uh, a few times per day, I applied a cream made of oil that was targeting the inflammation. For the first two weeks, um, that didn't work very much. So I'm not sure it's because it takes time for the body to actually heal and then it starts to kick in or if it's because I made changes and then I noticed a difference. So what I did uh, was one week from now, last Monday, I first changed the oils. Instead of targeting the inflammation, I decided to work the nervous system, the muscles and the inflammation. Um, the muscle do work with the nervous system and because of my job as a postwoman I carry quite a fair amount of weight on my shoulder and I've noticed since a few months that my shoulders were absolutely tense really really tense and I couldn't find a way to release that even though I recruited my partner for massage it was not working uh, and I'm, I'm thinking this is what started to trigger the inflammation here because of all the tense the tension around my shoulder so the oil I've chose were marjoram, rosemary and frankincense because they work with relaxing the nervous system. So they work with relaxing the muscles as well and they worked on the inflammation. And I felt more comfortable with those oils and I felt that they were affecting me more than the one I've picked before. Uh, I've also recruited my partner. Uh, he's already been doing everything he could for the last three weeks. It's been really, really good. He's dealt with the, the cleaning, everything, uh, cooking on top of his work at home because he's working from home. Uh, he was also dressing me every morning and did my hair every morning. So he had to tie my hair every day, which I think he did pretty good. I'm pretty pleased because I didn't end up with a massive weird haircut every day. So I'm quite grateful for that. So I had to ask him a bit more, which was massaging the shoulder. And that also created a massive difference. Um, what we started to do is work on the neck and the shoulders on both sides, because if this side was tense, you can be sure that you need to work on the other side as well. So he worked on all the muscles around here, all the neck. On the neck, you have uh, muscles that are joining 
the bones here and are connected to the back. So what he did, he took both of his hands, one here and one here, and he slid all the way. That allowed me to relax my neck and to work on the muscle. Don't apply too much pressure if you decide to do it, because otherwise you're bringing all the blood into the head and that's not very pleasant. But if you do it lightly, you can press on the muscle and release at the same time, and that was wonderful. Really good. He also worked on all the muscles I'm going to show you. So we get the trapezius, teres minor, teres major, and I'm not going to give you too much technical words because A, I don't remember all of them, and B, it's not very necessary. But you have the shoulder blade here, and everybody can feel that when you press at the border of the shoulder blade, you can feel tension. And the muscle here, teres minor, teres major, are very much painful into a lot of people. Uh, then we have one here that is creating a little hole. So all of that, working on all that, made a massive difference. He didn't work on the inflammation straight. First he couldn't because he was horrendously painful. And I was almost yelling at him for touching me, barely touching me in this area. But he worked all around. So the shoulder on both sides, huh? not forgetting the other side as well. And that made a massive difference. Why? Because it started to create room for the tendon to be able to move without creating the friction with the bursa. So that, that was super helpful. Uh, and at the same time, I, changed, I added into my diet turmeric paste. Turmeric paste is made of coconut or olive oil black pepper and turmeric. Turmeric is known for strong anti-inflammatory properties. So I started to ingest that quite a few times per day. And vitamin C, which is also an anti-inflammatory amongst other many things. And glucosamine. Glucosamine, I cannot tell you why. I just did research on, online. It seems to be good for bursitis. We had it at home, so I decided to take it. That was the only reason. But if you look a bit more into it, you'll find out that it has uh, good properties as well uh, and all of that combined together so the massage the oils and the turmeric made a massive difference within last week I could move my shoulder better and the pain diminished incredibly and I haven't taken any naproxen since uh, last Monday pretty much I don't need it and I can sleep oh my god that is so good I can lie down I don't wake up 10 times per night because of the pain. This is wonderful. So that made a massive difference. So I thought I would share my experience with you. Um, first, to encourage you to look into your health. Uh, you can deal with many issues naturally. I am not here to tell you that conventional medicine doesn't work or is bad. Uh, I am aware that some don't work, but some do work. And I had to take the naproxen at least at the beginning. So that was very a very big relief for me um, but I'm mostly here to try to encourage you to do research and also to look at your health globally when I targeted the inflammation at first because I was so much in pain that I wanted that to reduce it didn't work but when I started to look into the whole body entirely which was food inside um, the nervous system the muscle system and inflammation when I took a more global approach that's when it started to work so much better. So this, this is it. I'm just hoping that it will encourage you to look into your health a bit differently. And as long as it's not life threatening, just experiment, just look into what works, what doesn't work. Uh, and I know when you have pain, you, you don't want to look into all that. But once you start to have less pain, I would encourage you to, to look into alternative. Some people have mentioned acupuncture, homeopathy, I didn't try that. Uh, but you can look into anything that could work for you, uh, that take into consideration your whole body. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that video and thank you for listening. Bye.